Jolly good. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, that's great. That is great. Well, that is a coincidence. I'm that's... a little concerned about this now, actually. Why? <laughs> Why not? It's, for... <laughs> it's just what I said. Good you weren't last week, because that's exactly what Mikhail Gorbachev was wearing. Oh, so. my God. <laughs> It looks better on you. But you, why? Well, you're over here because you've got a film out. I do. Yes. I came over because I have a film opening. Yeah. Well, I have a film opening, but so does Bette and Diane. Yes. But Bette's preparing her show, so she couldn't come. And Diane's afraid of flying. <laughs> so, yeah. so I'm doing the work. This is Diane Keaton. She's afraid of flying. Yeah, she's, a, she's no, I have to hold her hand every time we go somewhere. Yeah. She's just... Yeah. Well, she is well I'm afraid of interviews, so you could hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. I do the whole interview like that. You've warmed up a lot since I saw you the last time. <laughs> well, it helps. Um, well, this is going better already. Um, <laughs> now, Diane Kitch is front and you'd never guess that because she always plays that kind of neurotic character. Yeah. And Bette Midler's the sort of smart talking one. And Right. And, and you play the who? actress who's still beautiful after all these years. After so. all these years. Well, she had some help. Yes. Yeah, help with all kinds of accoutrement, you know. Yeah. Slicing and stitching and but she was a sad character. That's the reason why I wanted to play her really is that she had so Much desperation and pain and of course she was an alcoholic and I mean how much fun is it to just yeah be an alcoholic I mean yeah. it just gives you why Free you reign to do it <laughs> Well listen because uh, you've, you've actually led into the clip Have of the I? film that we're uh, it was almost as if you knew it was coming uh, oh. the, uh, <laughs> Which shows the three of you to, uh, talking about this, and you are, ha you've had a drink, I think, in this... Uh, I've had a drink or two. Yeah, and you're talking about, so uh, they're questioning about your plastic surgery and stuff, so let's, let's have a look at it. Okay, Elise, the time has come. Spill those lips. What's in them? Are they wax? Excuse me? What else did you have done? Come on, Elise, you can tell me. The cheekbones, the jawline, do you just have a little bit or the full enchilada? I work out every day. I watch my diet. Mm. I have not had uh, plastic surgery. Well, good for you. You look terrific. Oh, come mm. on. At least you're lying through your caps. <laughs> oh. All right, I have been freshened up a little bit. Oh, God. Does it hurt? Mm, no. What do they do with the stuff they take off? Do you get to keep it? Oh, come <laughs> on, Brandon. <laughs> so so, so there you were playing somebody who'd had some rather radical plastic surgery on your lips. Oh, she had some radical everything, yeah. that woman. I mean, she was really... Um, that surgery actually a, a did take place in one way or another. So they had to actually do something to your lips? They to did. So what did they do? I opted to do it. I mean, they could have put a prosthetic on my mouth, and, yeah. and that wouldn't have looked as good. So no. I, I asked a doctor to come over and see what he could do and we ended up putting saline solution yeah. in my lips and boy did that hurt well so that's just like salt water in it's your, salt water, water yeah. exactly and it puffs up your mouth i mean yeah. it really distorts yeah it would everything. taste your food as well wouldn't it I mean, yeah. well i don't get puffy under the eyes you know yeah. too much salt yeah. but it did hurt i tell you it's so yeah. what you do for a joke it really is kind of sick yeah. <laughs> the you know about that. Absolutely, yes. I am not we're used to uh, plumping up parts of my body with salt water, but oh, I'll try it. God. <laughs> oh, you yeah. never sea know what works. Sea bathing doesn't have that effect on me, unfortunately, <laughs> but uh, quite the reverse. But um, now, <laughs> now, in the, f the sort of the point of the film, First Wives Club, it's, yeah. it's uh, all about you know women getting dumped by their husbands and they run off with right. you. And but it's there's kind of an undercurrent that the reviews kind of picked up on that is it's particularly pertinent to actresses because very often actresses have a, an early career and then they mm -hmm. get shoved aside and older mm -hmm. actors are, are acting with actresses like 30 years younger than them. It's just the way it's always been, you yeah. know. I mean, in the 40s, actresses were pretty powerful. Yeah. That was during the war and, and so forth, and women's stories seemed to be more interesting then. Uh, I think we're coming back. Yeah. I, I do. Yeah. But the point is, is that you do reach a certain age in Hollywood, and the parts are less, and the older guys are getting the younger yeah. women. Yeah, but it doesn't really apply to you, does it? Because you, you came to prominence of, first on television on Ronan Martin's Laughing. Now, of all right. the people in that show, you're the yeah. one that's gone on to have the, the film career yeah. and the big career. So you haven't been left behind. I don't think I've been left behind. And if it all stopped tomorrow, I mean, I could look back and say, what an amazingly lucky and wonderful career. Uh, you know, is there going to be an equivalent film of a first? Husband's Club, you know, having to play a lot well, of alimony and no, no, no. I, I tell you, no, absolutely. I, as a matter of fact, this picture was a very difficult picture 
picture for me to say yes to. I turned it down twice yeah. uh, before I ultimately decided well, to do it. Boosting the price, probably. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> it was about money. I don't do anything for money. Oh, what a shame. I do. Really... <laughs> Oh, God. No, but I, I mean in terms of my integrity, dear. Yes. Um, Forget that. Yeah. <laughs> now, where were we? I don't know. Oh, God. I'm just thinking about the sea line still, some, but... Uh, I had a point to make. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. it, it was uh, the other side of my personality. You turned it down. You were you, worried about doing the film. You didn't, you didn't know if you yeah, wanted to do it. Yeah, I didn't know. Ah, because I'd actually been developing a picture, which I'm very sympathetic to, hmm. are, are men who I think have been used. I think women marry them two years, two and a half years. Men are saps, you know. I mean, they have <laughs> beautiful girls come yeah. into their lives. They think that, you know, this is just making them feel so good. And you're going to make I a film? I think women are, do bad things. I think these men do awful things. Yeah. I think I'm going to go live on a mountain top. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to do a film with Woody Allen next night. You could discuss yeah. this sort of point with him because he's had a few oh, relationships with a younger get, woman. Let's not you? get into that, yeah. okay? <laughs> Uh, he is a, actually he's a kind of a cool guy. He's yeah. a very nice person, and he's very quiet. Yeah. And he's a very eccentric. And whatever his choices are, are what his choices are. And I don't get into that. <laughs> but uh, but what we do, yeah. of course, have done is made a wonderful movie together, and that was a blast. Yeah. So you've you know? already made the Woody Allen film. Made the movie, flew over the sand in a harness, sang a song, and yeah. I actually planted one right on his lips, and he was. Fairly receptive. Yeah. Planted what? A kiss on his lips? A kiss, yeah. Well, how would, what was that like then? Just could you... Could you <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, right. And, uh, and actually, it, it was quite pleasant. Yes. He said to me, you know, I just want to let you know, you know, and we kiss, you know, he doesn't want to, we don't worry about germs and stuff, so he doesn't right. do open mouth kissing. Doesn't he? No. Yeah. But that was fine with So me. what do you get? He was fine. So what do you get, a stunt man in there to, uh... <laughs> no, I just go home. Yeah. So, I do open mouth kissing. Do you? So yeah. it doesn't really matter, yeah. you know. I didn't feel rejected or anything. No. You know. <laughs> well, anyway, I just thought oh, I'd pursue that line. That's what I was going to say. You bet you don't, don't. You can't fly with that one, can you? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> No, I was watching your brain work, and I think yeah. you edited something. No, no. <laughs> I was trying to edit it in, but, uh, you know, so to speak. Now, the, um, what was it else? Oh, I know. Let's talk about more um, pleasant subjects. You've yes. also made a documentary about elephants in India. Oh, my God, thank you. That was one of the great experiences of my life. Yes. Uh, I love elephants. I always have. I've collected them. I've visited them. I've befriended one of them in India about seven years ago. And when what, was tigers... it a pen pal, first of all? No, it wasn't. <laughs> but if, if, this, him up if the... this mother could have written, I would have written her back, yes. I swear to God. But uh, anyway, the whole premise of this documentary was to go back and find her again and yes. see if she was still in the wild. She had a baby, and this baby now, I imagine, been seven years old. He was grown. Well, as it turned out, I did find her. Yeah. I didn't find her, but the people went... You yeah. know, scouting, found her, the herd, yeah. and she had just given birth to a new baby. So I was able to see her, her sort of grown-up uh, boy and the new baby being born, and it was a really extraordinary experience. Well, I've seen the documentary, so it's going to be out in a, uh, about a month's time, I think, over here. Did so. you see it? Yes, I did. did it's you a, like a good it? bit. Yes, I loved it. But I was a bit dubious about because you're looking for this one blind elephant in the middle of India, and it yeah. seems like you find. Oh, I forgot to wait a bit. Uh, what? You do, well, you do find the elephant. Well, I but just said I know it, these you know? documentary makers, I mean, if they couldn't find a blind elephant, you know, the yeah. actual one, yeah. I don't know what they'd get up to to make sure you find it. Yeah. Did you worry about that? I wonder if they lied to me. <laughs> I've even what made did you used to be? I used to be, uh, I used to be alone, but now I've got you, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you used, no, to, used to be, be a judge? Uh, yeah, no, not a judge, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, so, well, what, uh, are you, what do you get fed up? I was just oh. asking about, relating really to the sort of the looks thing, do you get fed up with people sort of telling you how gorgeous you look? Oh, that would be a mean thing to say yes. Yeah. But, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I get mean... fed up with that, because people are always coming to me. <laughs> always coming, they say, Goldie Horn looks gorgeous, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> it makes you sick to your stomach, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> Well, I don't know. What, what, what is it all about? I feel yeah. happy inside and I yeah. feel kind of, I don't know. What do you mean? I still feel like a kid. Yeah? I really do. Um, I believe that 
we were all babies once. We were all smiled. I, I we agree. all were happy. I, I believe that as well. I, I'm you, with you so far. This well, is like a I Billy can, Graham experience. It, you're it? getting ready yeah. because I'm getting ready to give you mine. All oh, right. Your baby or what? Wait, no, my philosophy. My philosophy, right. Mind, body, and spirit. Yes. And I think that it's important for all of us to understand yes. our anatomy and sort of bless it every day. Yes. <laughs> So you, so you you get in front of the mirror and you bless your anatomy. No, I don't I look at and myself go, and bless it. I sit quietly and I think about it and I bless it. Yeah. Well, I get in front of the mirror and I say, who's put this distorting mirror in my room? <laughs> <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> right. Oh, maybe shoulder pads or something. Yeah. Shoulder pads? <laughs> look, I've got shoulders. I'm up to my ears I in shoulders. I know you are. I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> You've got the neck for it anyway. Look, I'm since, sorry. since I've discovered you're so keen on elephants, I thought I'd like to give you something elephantine of my own. Really? So, and which, I've got, <laughs> which, is, which is a teapot. It's a teapot which is a. Which we. Because I know you collect elephant things, so there are. That's our gift from the program. I like to give presents to our. Do you always give presents? Uh, not always, I but. I want to uh, know how much I have, because I'm overwhelmed by this. Oh, right. I collect elephants, and yeah. I really love I it. I discovered that, and if I'd known you were so pleased, I'd have given you a free packet of tea as well. But. <laughs> but it's, it's, 